Hello everyone and welcome to Keepsakes by Patty Cakes. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you're from. Um, today I'm working on Roxy's Weekly Challenge and it's week number 14 and they are called Quick Little Hand Stitch Snippets. And so I have uh, a bunch of scraps here, or cut pieces, and uh, we're just going to make small, tiny uh, snippets by just uh, hand sewing like two to three pieces of material together. And they can be used for, you know, corners of your uh, journal pages or decorating something else. Uh, when you go to do your journals, you can always add more to them, such as buttons, or uh, you can even add paper in these, or whatever you like. So, I'm going to go ahead and start out by just taking a piece of material. Man, finding a piece to stitch on it. That's worth crooked, but that's okay. And uh, maybe a piece of lace with it. Just chop that down a little bit if I'm on screen. Oh, this doesn't want to tear that way. Try it this way. There we go. And then you'll need a needle and um, whatever color thread you want to use. Ignore my little undecorated Altoid tin. I just keep my needles in there for now because I haven't made a needle book. So for this one, um, let's see. Uh, I don't know, maybe we'll use uh, brown. Brown color. Uh oh, I already, there we go. I thought I lost my needle already. So I'm just going to do this with six strands just to save on time, if I can get it through this needle, the eye of this needle. No. I guess I'll take some threads off. Every time I do three, I get it, seem to get it tangled. work that time and I don't remember what the embroidery stitches are called so I'm just gonna use whatever stitches happen and I'm not a fast sewer or anything like that so <laughs> I've never done this before so we're just gonna have at it here. And I'm going to stitch them both. Oops. She used different embroidery stitches on hers. Um, I'm just doing these stitches like this, if you can see it. And please excuse my nails, I'm, they're taking a break because they're all cracking. And the purple nail polish I used made my nails turn orange. So, and then I was uh, coloring paper again and both avocado tea and coffee and stained my nails 
<laughs> My fingers. She, she said it didn't have to be neat or anything, thank goodness, because mine are all different size stitches, as you can see. And all you want to do is stitch it to make sure both stay down. But the problem I'm going to have here, I have these two separated. And I don't know why I'm wasting. Um, that's wasting thread. You're supposed to actually come up on the same side you went down in. And, uh, yeah, I didn't do that. But do it whatever way is easiest for you. I'm just going to go down and put it on this side and then come back and do that. Oops. Make these ones smaller. That's all frayed there, so I'm just going to come over here and start up here. And like I said, you can decorate them. You can do all kinds of different stitches on these if you want. But this is supposed to be just a quick project to stitch a few down. And you can do it on a sewing machine too, she said. Um, but it always just gives a little bit more, makes it feel a little bit more special, you know, whenever you have hand sewing on it. So... That's why we're doing it this way. But she said, you, like I said, you can do it on machine, whatever way is easiest for you. Oops. And if you need to glue it down first, you can do that. Um, but you have to keep in mind your needle will get a little sticky. Oh, you see it on that side. I think what I'm going to do is come over here to this side. So what I'm doing is just going through some of the stitches on the back because where the lace is, I don't want you to be able to see where I stitch through the fabric. So I'm just working my way over here. To do my knot. Oops. There we go. one done that's all you have to do okay next one just have this you know what I'm gonna take a little bit of a straighter piece there I think it's stitched together yep. and maybe this is like a pinkish and cream color plaid, maybe. maybe a piece of this lace would be pretty. Oops. Let's see. Maybe 
like that. Okay. This one. Let's see. I'm gonna find something sort of in this lines. That's close enough. Put this one back. <clears throat> Looks like I've used this color a lot. For this one, just make the sound a bit straighter, right? Maybe. Okay. If you don't know, when you get this DMC JP codes or whatever type of thread, it always comes in six strands, and you can take them apart and just use one strand, two strand, three strand, whatever, up to six. I can't make my knots like Rachel does. <laughs> I'm not that good. So I think with this one, maybe I'll just... Ooh, no, I don't want to go up through. This is double, I think that's why. I think on this one I'm just going to... Wow, yeah, that's hard. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to just do one at a time, I think. Try to get them, trying to get them spaced somewhat the same, but it's very, very hard to get the needle through. Just use the table instead of a thimble. <laughs> I think I'm going to go across this way. That's tough. I forgot to time myself. Let me see. We're already at thirteen minutes and 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, so I've got till 20 after. But, oh. But the other piece is stuck in there. I'm going to go down this side, too. So yeah, you just play around with it and stitch it however you want to with whatever kind of stitches. Hmm. Looks like my thread is not tight.
This is so relaxing. I'm just going to put one stitch here. Now we just finish it off. Oh, that didn't go through too well. Probably would help for with a thinner needle too, but sharper needle. Don't do that very well. Oops, did it again. And we'll just cut it. And there we have another one done. I'll try a piece of this since it's good. chop it with these. I don't care that it's crooked. Um, I love, love, love this. I'm going to cut this edge off right here. That on. That. Maybe I already used that one. Let me see. Let's see what else we got here. Maybe a little piece of this. Threads everywhere. Hmm. Let's fold it over there. This was a curtain. Okay. What more? That maybe. Out to uh, let's see. Burgundy color, maybe. What's that? I can't tell if that's dark brown or burgundy. with it though. And this one's pretty too. Oops. Yeah, it looks like a dark brown. I think I'm going to use the burgundy just for something different.
I'm in no hurry, so, because I might just keep, oh, I knew I was going to knot it. I might just work on this afterwards. See, I knotted it. Yeah, I'm just going to cut it to here. Save time. Usually if you take them off one at a time, it's much easier. I found anyways. I think I might I, I can't remember how you start this the same hole and pulled my knot through. Try to make the knot a little bigger. This part of it is a blanket stitch, but um, I don't know how to start it, so I can't remember how to start it, so I'm just doing it my own way. Did I say blanket or couch? It's blanket, I believe. And I'm very slow. These materials are very, uh, I don't know what the word is, like holy and stretchy. So it comes out a little bit smaller than when I put the needle in. That's okay. I'm just going to do my best. It's all in fun, right? Hope you can see what I'm doing. So I'll take that on off until I get over there. This side's really frayed, so we'll see how we go.
You're supposed to hold the thread over here when you do it behind it. But I always tend to forget to do that. Like this. Oops, sorry, I keep pulling it towards me. I hope I didn't go off too long. Out of frame, rather. I don't want to have to start over. Yeah, the fibers in this are all just coming apart. I hope everyone's having a good day. Did I ask you how you were doing? Oops, lost my needle. If not, I... Sorry if my head went on there. If I did not, how are you doing today? And what's everybody up to? Is everybody waiting on their stimulus check? My fiance got his uh, day before yesterday, but I still didn't get mine. That was weird. Don't know what I did. That's okay. What's everybody going to do with their stimulus check? Anybody going to buy craft stuff? I think I mentioned in my last video I have to get a car. So that's what we're doing. I totaled my car over a year ago, so it's time. I'm just gonna stick that right in there. Maybe I'll make one going from here to there.
boy, I, I, I wouldn't mind buying a bunch of craft stuff. <laughs> Although I have tons, I should be grateful for what I have and I need to use it. So, I'm not going to complain. Okay, I'm going to stitch this other one down still. Um, put a few stitches in it. Um, I think I'm going to use this brown. I think there's only two strands here, but I don't care. Just having fun. That's doubled over there. I just started there. I think I'm going to do a back stitch on this one. Sorry about that, my video quit recording and I'm not sure why. So I'm just going to continue on. Hopefully it won't stop on me again. And if it does, I'll have to figure out what to do to fix it. <laughs> okay. So since this part is held down already by this, I'm just going to put one stitch up here. Oops. And try not to pull it too tight. There we go. And I'm just going to leave that open like that. So my time's about up, I think. I can't tell now because it stopped a couple times, so I did get three done, and I will continue working off uh, screen, and uh, maybe I'll put a little uh, picture at the end, or put it at the beginning of the video um, to show what all I, I get done off camera. So I thank you very much for joining me today, and I hope this gives you some inspiration into doing a few of these yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.